So I'm surrounded by what we call mortars or guns, and um, they're of varying sizes. We bury them a certain depth into the sand to prevent them from uh, reacting with each other should something unforeseen happen, or even just the standard concussion of when they launch. We've got a few little treats in store. Um, we will be seeing uh, the return of Pete McLeod, the Red Bull stunt uh, pilot will be performing each of the three event nights uh, at 7.40 p.m. over the skies of English Bay. Uh, this will be the first uh, major event or the, the biggest event um, that Vancouver has hosted since uh, the start of the pandemic. And we're also going to see the iconic Canadian Snowbirds demonstration team uh, and they're going to be performing on the Wednesday night uh, which is also the night that Team Canada will be lighting up the skies. We're anticipating tens of thousands of people coming downtown into the West End, under the streets, the beaches and the parks. Really the easiest way to get down to the events is to hop on transit, walk or cycle. We will be deploying extra rangers and working closely with our colleagues in VPD to ensure that everyone feels safe and welcome during the event. TransLink is increasing service for the events. Um, for SkyTrain, um, we will be operating on peak service, which means trains will come every two to three minutes. There will be extra sailings for the sea bus, as well as extra bus service to meet demand. On the uh, event night, we've got not only extra traditional Amos' staff, we have our bike squad units are out, and also we have a UTV ambulance, which is going to be out, so these uh, units can respond way easier in through crowded situations to get to people if they need any assistance. I also want to remind everyone that our beaches are a smoke-free venue, as are they are alcohol prohibited.